The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Tennessee Titans. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And off we go from Nashville. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the... Send the tight end in motion. In motion, left goes Burks. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Henry again on second down. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Powers through it. And this is going to be a Titans first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. On third down, Henry. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. In motion, the tight end. On fourth down, Tannehill. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jeremiah Owusu koromoa And the Browns are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Pulling a gain of three on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. 
First carry for Nick Chubb. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Now a first down throw, Watson. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Second and ten. Here's Watson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And the Titans are going to get the football back at their own 17. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the run of crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused in here. He throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. No score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Again, it's Henry. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. Going deep for Hopkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And the head play going nowhere. A loss of a yard. It's fourth down. Now the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And that will force a turnover on downs. And trouble trying the middle here. Oh, a fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, 
really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hold it through. And now lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing on third down, Watson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Amade Hooker. And the Titans are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt, and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They begin with Henry. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Now second and three. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. On first down, it's Tannehill. Throw to the right, caught by Cockrell. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. First and 10 at the 33 yard line. In motion goes the tight end. A first down carry for Henry. Takes it to about the 37. Now Tannehill saying, let's get to the line. Second and six. That'll be complete to a couple. The team is going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry, and he is going to lose yardage here. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Here's Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Tannehill. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. So one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Tannehill on first down. Touchdown! Chiga Kakro. As the first half is winding down. And the Titans go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 7-0. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. The final shot before the break, Watson. is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Browns drive about to get started. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Here now, second and four. From the gun, here's Watson. He's got the connection to Cooper. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Watson. And this one's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Watson now to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working sometimes, you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To the air yet again, Watson. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. A big play that time for Cleveland. 44 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Watson. Rolling to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And all the way down inside the five and the four. 58 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Chubb, a pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Browns are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, it took them a little while, but they are on the board here in this third quarter and now with a chance to tie this up. And it gives them a chance to exhale just a little bit, right? Because most of the time, if your first points come in the second half, you're often hopelessly out of the game, but not in this case. Now they have something to build on and a chance to mount a comeback. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Two yards is the pickup, and it'll give the Titans a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another. Back now in Nashville. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. A handoff running left, Henry. To about the 40-yard line. 
I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. Yo, trip left, trip left. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Let's go. The offense on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. To throw is Tannehill. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Here's a second and seven. Back to throw, Tannehill. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, I mean, both offenses have clearly struggled throughout, so kind of fitting that it's another big defensive play that yields points here in the late going. Yeah, really, both of these defenses have been up to the task throughout this game, and we haven't seen much in terms of offensive creativity or results. And there, not only does the defense force a turnover, but they have the presence of mind to take it back for six points. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. This is first and 10. Here's Tannehill. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. 
It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Brandon, you got to have some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is they're all 30 yards downfield after that play. They'll come up now on second down. There you go, Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Tannehill to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. They set themselves behind the chains, tried to get it all back in one play, and it backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher? Working his way into a 3-0 count, right? You're behind. What do your coaches always tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Third and nine here. Now it's Watson. They'll roll him out right. And he is caught. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 21 to 7. Dustin Hopkins set to kick off. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover, put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. But just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Tannehill. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Tannehill. Oh, 
the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Throwing Tannehill. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Browns will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held him to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew.